Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a case of 2024 Fanatics Underwrapped Autographed Baseballs. All right, some pretty cool stuff right here. They even gave us a checklist with teams so we can do it as a random team break. Uh, no Astros though in the checklist, but it is a loaded checklist. We went through it. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome actually. So, big thanks to this group for making it happen. We took the Astros out, no Astros here. Let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a five, you have a lot to learn about the law, Rex. Five and a four, nine times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Got Matt down to Eugene after nine. And five and a four, nine times for the teams. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So after nine right there, we got Rays down to O's. And Matt with the Rays, Annabelle with the A's. Matt with the White Sox, Kevin with the Padres, Eric with the Guardians, Kevin with the Rockies, Oliver with the Mets, Alejandro with the Giants, Eric with the Phillies and Pirates, Eugene with the Nats and Braves, Eric with the Reds, Kevin with the Tigers and Diamondbacks, uh, Peter with the Royals, Eric with the Cubs, Matt with the Twins, Brett with the Cardinals and the Mariners, last spot Mojo with the Mariners, Brett, um, Eric with the Brewers, Juan with the Yankees, Kevin with the Angels, Eugene with the Red Sox, Eric with the Rangers, Joe with the Blue Jays, Eric with my Dodgers, Kevin with the Marlins, and Eugene with the O's. Now let's alphabetize by team. And we're gonna pause the video for a little bit. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades, and then we will have the break. So uh, so stick around. We'll see you on the other side of the trade window. All right, welcome back everybody. No deals were done, so the list remains the same here on a Sunday. Thanks for spending a bit of your Sunday with me. If you're watching live, this break should bring us pretty close to the end of the night. Hey guys, love you. So, uh, Later, Teddy. see you, Teddy. And uh, so, but if you want to do something a little quick, maybe a quick filler pack or something like that, I'd be down. All right. There's the case right there. There's the same checklist card that we looked at just before this break. All right. I'll just randomly grab some boxes. Good luck, everybody. Got some guys on the box right here. Bobby Witt Jr. All right, I suppose these are, these are like the specialty balls I think we were looking at on the checklist. And then there's inscription balls and multi-auto baseballs. So potentially a lot of cool stuff. I'm gonna make myself a little bit of, a little bit of extra room here. You can see all the, all the boxes kind of scattered around there. Baseball's just, uh, are they just sitting there? Will we have an idea? And that's kind of a cool, oh, and I see this just slides out, huh? And we've got a little pouch here too.
And it's going to give me the name of this, or are we, just, are, we, are we guessing here? Oh, okay. So the name's on the back of this card. The name of the player. All right, let's play a quick trivia here. Who am I? Hall of Famer, 12-time All-Star, World Series champion, two-time gold glover, eight-time silver slugger, five-time batting title. This guy's pretty good. 3,010 hits, 118 home runs, 328, 328 batting average, 858 OPS, over 1,000 RBIs. Who am I? And uh, and he was a, I think he was a first ballot Hall of Famer, right? Yeah, with 91.9% .9 of the vote. Bats left, throws right, was a third baseman. Not Tony Gwynn. I think Tony Gwynn had a little more hits than this guy. Played for Boston. Then the Yankees. Then ended his career with the Tampa Bay Devil Rays for a couple seasons. Oh, is Gwynn not even on the checklist? Yeah. Yeah, the checklist can kind of help narrow players down too. So there's all the fanatic stuff right here. Just trying to be careful here. It's Wade Boggs. Got a Hall of Fame inscription too. There it is. And that's gonna be a Boston edition of Wade Boggs. That's for Eugene and the Red Sox. Rex, did you get that in before I said Wade Boggs? Or are you doing your usual, like, after the fact? Saying, saying the answer. So today is the 11th. To Eugene Lee with the Red Sox, and that's break number three. Mm, you actually did, huh? All right, Rex. You're the one that's gonna have to live with it if you're uh, if you're a liar. Let's hope you can sleep at night. All right, so now they got an idea of what's going on here. And I can just look on the back, see the player quickly. All right, and all right, I am a Cy Young Award winner and a Rookie of the Year winner, a Triple Crown winner in pitching. Four-time All-Star, two-time World Series champion, a Silver Slugger, and an ERA title. Right Righty. Six two one ninety. Righty. Kind of a skinny guy. Had 194 wins to 112 losses, a 351 ERA. Um, 2200, about almost 2300 strikeouts, a one two five six whip. Rookie of the year, his rookie of the, his rookie year, obviously finished second in Cy Young voting in his rookie year. Finished first the next year with 24 wins. He went 24 and four, 
a 153 ERA, and a league leading 268 strikeouts. Finished top five in MVP voting there as well. Kind of burned hot early in his career, and then and then and then kind of fell off a cliff a little bit. It was the '80s, I think. I think some cocaine issues got in the way. But in those early days, he was electric. Maddox is only has won more than one Cy Young. His triple crown year was his Cy Young year. League leading two, 24 wins, 153 ERA, and, and 268 strikeouts. He might have led all of the majors, not just, not just the NL. There's all the stickers right there. It is Doc Gooden. Yeah, also had a no-hitter. Got a no-hitter inscription. And I think that's Mets edition of Doc Gooden. Let me look at the checklist. Yeah, it is. And that's for Oliver and the Mets. No, that was after Rex. I saw it. Don't don't give me that. No, second one, I don't believe you. Alright, so that's break three. All right, maybe you did get it. Maybe you did. I don't know, right? This is what you get for crying wolf all these years. Being a jokester. You know, what, what am I supposed to believe now? I like the box configuration. It's nice. All right. All right, who's next? Let's find it. Uh, no, we're not Iron Iron Men here, Shane. This is this is how we usually go. We usually go from three to eleven LA time, six to two East Coast time. All right, I'm an active player, active catcher, and a righty. Three-time All-Star, two-time Gold Glover, three-time Silver Slugger, 6'1", 212. Um, having a little bit of a down season this year, 246, only eight home runs and a stolen base, but I've only played, I've only had 260 at-bats. Got it's injured a little bit. 685 OPS. But lifetime, I'm one of those... Uh, I'm one of those catchers that have a little bit of power and speed. 162 career home runs in about 11 seasons and, and almost 100 stolen bases, 95 stolen bases. So think of your, your speedy, think of your, uh, think of your speedy uh, catchers. You have a guess? JT. That's right. Thomas has got it. JT Real Muto. There he is. I think the auto goes this way. All right, and he's on the Phillies. That'll be for Eric Clicks. I don't want to take that card out. It's hard to put that card back in, but you can see JT Real Muto right there. Minus, can you read me? 
This is break number three. player who do we got here this one might be kind of easy all right I'm a I bat left but I throw right I can play a couple infield positions a little bit of outfield a one-time all-star in my young career only five seasons in I have 73 homers 84 stolen bases 248 batting average. I can get that batting average up a little bit, but uh, 761 lifetime OPS. Played for two teams this season. With my new team, I've got seven home in, in what 54 plate appearances. I've got seven homers, 11 RBIs, a few stolen bases, you know, and a double. I've got a, over a thousand OPS. He's a change man on his new team. Batting 300 as well. Rusty, Who am I? No, you, you wish Christopher Morell was doing that well. He's actually not, Rex, so you, maybe you should be happy. Yep, Juan's got it. Jazz Chisholm. There's the card right there. Yeah, this, this guy has been on. Oh, look at that. Special baseball. Wait, what is the check? Who do the checklist have? Jazz Chisholm. Checklist has Jazz Chisholm as Miami. We got a gold baseball. That's really, oh man, it's got the Miami. There's really no doubts about it. It's got the big Miami logo on there. Yeah, sorry, Juan. But this is going to go to Kevin and the fish. Nice time to get it. It's pretty sweet. So Kevin Holloway with the fish. Yeah, Rex was right. Some some of those don't have those drawstring pouches. We got a uh, active outfielder here. Another one of those guys that bats left and throws right. Uh, an MVP, a three-time All-Star, a Gold Glover, three-time Silver Slugger, two-time Batting Title Award winner. Um, lifetime 287 batting average, already has 200 home runs in about 12 seasons. Um, he's really good, 748 uh, RBIs. Was, uh, was having an excellent season, but had to shut it down. Back issues, poor guy. Fantastic. 
Here's what you do. Christian Yelich. That, that back issue sounds like it's really serious. So, I mean, never want to screw around with the back. Uh, Brewers, I think he's Brewers. Got to be Brewers on the checklist. Yeah, of course he is. Uh, it's going to be for Eric Clicks and the Brew Crew. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what, what happened there. I'm sure these are probably hand-packed, so... I don't know, it could be anything. It's some some intern who's packing these the baseballs maybe forgot to put them in the pouches. You know, maybe it's pouched somewhere else and then it's put in the box in another place and someone gets it and goes, we don't, we're not the pouching station here, we're the, we're the box station. And why didn't they, someone didn't pouch them. That could be it, too. Who knows? Maybe maybe the baseball came in late and they were in a rush to get these out. So they're like, let's get these out of here. Wait, what? This guy's not on the checklist. Oh, maybe I should probably spell his name correctly. All right, I think this, uh, yeah, I'm an active ball player here. This season, I'm hitting 261, 25 home runs with the 88 RBIs. Infielder, outfielder, bats left, throws right. A lot of these bats left, throw, throws right kind of guys. And placed fourth in uh, Rookie of the Year balloting last year. This is his second year, and he's, and he's playing pretty well. Who am I? I don't think anybody watches this team, so I'm going to... It's Nolan Jones, who low-key is having a really good season. It's just too bad he's on... It's just too bad he's on the Rockies. But that's good for Kevin Holloway. Another autographed baseball going your way. Rockies actually have a decent offense. They Ryan McMahon, Brenton Doyle, Nolan Jones, guys like, guys like them have been playing pretty good. They can definitely hit a little bit. Pitching, obviously, the issue. All right, another one. There's no other orders coming around. Okay. Just making sure. So I'm kind of taking my time with this Who Am I section, but I don't think we're really doing anything. Can continue playing trivia. Can you intensely back as you total control? Can turn it Unless, I don't know, no, no one's giving answers, so maybe not. I'm a rookie of the year. This is my third year. Uh, and I'm hitting not as well as I did in my rookie year. I'm hitting 250, handful of home runs, 20 RBIs, uh, eight stolen bases. I must be injured. Oh, I have been injured. I'm, I've been playing some rehab games. In Triple A, Gwinnett. I'm part of the Gwinnett Stripers. If you know your minor league teams, that's the Braves. Not Jordan Lawler, but 
I think it goes this way. It's Michael Harris Jr. Braves player right there. Michael Harris. Oh, yeah, I think Chris might have gotten it before I said it in the chat if I account for the lag. That's going to be Eugene with the Braves. I almost said Gwyneth strippers, and I realize no, that's not a that's, that's not a name for a it's not a good name for a triple A bay, minor league baseball team. Family friendly environment. This guy, a right-handed shortstop, was very good last season. He finished top 10 in Rookie of the Year voting. I feel like not as good this season. He had 21 homers, 60 RBIs, 24 stolen bases, hit 2 He only hit 209 last season. He's hitting 252, but the power is down. Only 11 homers at this stage of the season. He's got to go on a tear if he wants to get to 21. 45 RBIs, 20 stolen bases. Who am I? I guess I still have a 2-8 two eight, two eight war at this stage of the season. Go to Insurify and save today. I feel like Yankees fan has been down, been down on him a little bit. I had a gold glove, too. Some good penmanship here. Anthony Volpe. Maybe he's been hitting a little bit better. I feel like early in the season, people are like, come on, what's going on with Volpe? Maybe he's coming around here. All right, Yankees. That's going to be for Juan and the Yanks. The Bronx Bombers. I'll see you next time. <laughs> sometime this, sometime this upcoming week. All right, man. I'll see you. Right. Kevin must definitely be lagging behind. Make sure you're watching live, everybody, if you want to play. All right, this guy, this guy, uh, sad times, because he only made it through 192 at-bats before he was shut down for the rest of the season. Who am I? Oh, you're alive. Maybe you did sneak that Volpe in before I said it. Whoa, a lot of inscriptions on here. It's Ronald Acuna Jr. We've got a lot of... Wow. Yeah, we get it. Is that only 50 of these baseballs, I guess? Yeah, what a season. And that's going to be for Eugene and the Braves. Real nice, yeah. Put it back in here. Eugene and the Braves.
wash all over it. It's a real nice one, Eugene. All right, a few more to go. Good luck, everybody. There's nobody inside. All right. Who am I? I think I'm a I think I'm a righty. Definitely American, an actor, rapper and film producer. I've got a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of stats here. I got hits like uh, Getting Jiggy With It, Wild Wild West, Parents Just Don't Understand, Summertime. Ring my bell, boom, shake the room. Walsh, cue up the tape to the robbery. Some pretty good stuff. I, I've, done, I've done movies, Bad Boys, Independence Day, Men in Black, Enemy of the State was pretty good. I don't understand. Wild Wild West was not good. Legend of Bagger Vance was okay. Ali, a bunch of, uh, you know, a bunch of... Sequels. I Robot, which wasn't so bad. Hitch was really sad. No, Pursuit of Happiness was really sad. I've not seen I Am Legend or Hancock or any of the other ones. He was in Aladdin, the live remake of Aladdin. King Richard, that's one I want to see, the, the tennis one. Who am I? That's right, Kevin, you got it. Will Smith, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised, on the playground is where I spent most of my days, chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, and shooting some b-ball outside of the cool, and a couple of guys, they were up to no good, started making trouble in my neighborhood, I got in one little fight, my mom got scared, and said, there's a whole other verse to that, you know that? Go, go find it on your streaming service of choice, and you'll be like, but there's a whole other... Yeah, there's like a whole other verse. The actual song is a whole other verse. Uh, the Fresh Prince going to Eric Clicks. This Will Smith... It's kind of hitting the ball like actor Will Smith, as good as actor Will Smith would have done on the baseball diamond. But I think the last couple of games, baseball Will Smith has been playing a little bit better. For, for a second there, I thought it was actor Will Smith doing an amazing job acting like baseball player Will Smith, but just without the ability. That's the theme, yeah, the infamous slap, too. All right, who am I? We've got another catcher here, right-handed catcher, lifetime 258, 152 home runs, 466 runs batted in, played for two, time, two teams my entire career. A World Series champion, a three-time All-Star. Who am I? I've got a brother who's also a catcher. That should give it away. Hey, I have no idea what you're talking about. There's all the stickers right here. I think it goes this way. Who is this? Oh, Rex has got it. Wilson Contreras. That was an easy one. Thought everyone would have been jumping in on that. And I made it easy. Brother William, also a catcher.
got to be Cardinals on this list, right? Yeah, Wilson Kramer's Cardinal. That will be for Brett. There you go, Brett. All right, 12th and final one. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. I think there's another one I could post, so join in on it. Keep an eye on them. All right, we're going to close things out with an active baseball player. Um, a really good – I mean, this checklist is actually pretty stacked, so all these players are pretty good. Uh, two-time All-Star, two-time Gold Glover, Silver Slugger, played for two teams my entire career. Last season finished fifth in MVP voting. Was an all-star and silver slugger. Had 54 home runs, 139 RBIs, 604 slug, a 933 OPS, along with 27 doubles and a few triples. They've been mixing a steal. I usually don't steal, but I mix in a steal. Who am I? Had 104 walks, too. When's the, when's the last time you heard of a guy having 100, over 100 walks? Not, it doesn't happen in these, although he still struck out 167 times. I suppose more walks and strikeouts would be interesting. Yeah, Casey's got it. It is Matt Olson. Matty O. He's having a, not as good of a season this year, but I think he's been heating up a little bit in recent weeks. I don't know which way his auto goes. Is it this way? It looks, kind of looks like an M, right? And then the OL. I think this goes that way. All right. There you go, my friends. Uh, that's another Brave for Eugene. Eugene Lee with the Atlanta Braves. Congrats. Thanks for watching, everybody. That was Under Wraps break number three. Just keep an eye on the store for more. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe. I'm out.